time we're going to try to go live. This is the third video I'm trying. If it doesn't work, I'm going home. <laughs> okay, it's going good so far. And I even got a notification. Woohoo! Hi, Karen and Christy. Hi, Kyle. Hi, Brenda. Hi, James, Rhonda, Tani. Yay, it's working this time. Is this anybody's first time on my golf cart ride? Look at the pretty flowers. It's your first time? I used to do so many of these but it got really hot and rainy every single day. So we'll take you through the tunnel of trees and everything today. Show you all the pretty stuff. Well, not all of it, because that would take a couple days. I have made a video on how to do multicolor iron-on. Look up Melody Lane uh, layers with HTB or iron-on on YouTube. <sighs> Did it finally cool off a bit? Just a bit. It's 90 degrees. Well, it's 91 degrees. But I asked Alexa what the humidity was and she said it was 65, I think. Earlier it was 93, then it went down to 75, and then it's 65. here last night. I think somebody was smoking something funny in that golf cart. I could smell it. day in the neighborhood. A beautiful day in the neighborhood. Has anyone got any questions? I like answering questions. Ooh, 
Where are we going? Great question. Um, I think we will go to Lake Sumter Landing, and I'm going to go around the long way because it's so pretty. So that's one of the squares. And then we'll go up to Spanish Springs to one of those squares. Yes, there's, there are alligators here in the villages. They don't hurt anyone though. I don't know why Cricket stopped flocked iron on. If you want to move to Florida, this is a great place to move unless you like the beach. The beach is like an hour and a half away. This is like an hour north of Orlando. How am I reading chats and driving? I'm holding, uh, one hand has a gimbal with my phone in it. And so I look at the chat while I'm driving. I, I glance at it. Um, yeah, they're building new houses all the time and new villas. There's some pretty water. There's ducks down there if you see them at the bottom. I'm not going that fast. flowers. These are not as flowery as they usually are. real nice area people like to go there's water there's a little waterfall back there I've driven there on my golf cart in many videos yeah they have hot rod golf carts like they they're like $20,000 customized golf cart to look like anything you want, any car you want. It's not too humid today. It's only like 65% humidity. We'll drive through the squares and maybe you'll see some hot rod golf carts. There's a lot of them around here. Yeah, my cart was uh, maneuvered to go a little faster. When I first bought it, it only went 20 miles. Now it goes 24 miles an hour. Oh my gosh, Carol Dufresne just messaged me and said, I'm ready for a ride, where are you? I hope she finds this video. Carol, if you're watching this later, sorry you didn't see it right away. Yes, this is Miss Daisy.
this is to the right of me. That's a cute car. Um, is the Polo Ridge. Because there's the Polo Fields over there. You see between those trees. There's a huge Polo Field. Did you know the Polo Field is the size of 12 professional football fields? There's a lot of horses that live in the area around the villages. So there's where you go to go to the polo club. Well, if you're going by car. If you're going by golf cart, then you go the way we're going. We're gonna go through a tunnel. Hopefully I don't lose you. And then the tunnel of trees is coming up. So we're going underneath the road we were just driving by. And I'm so excited because they are building a golf cart bridge they're actually building four golf cart bridges. One of them is going to go over the turnpike. And one of them goes over another highway. Doesn't look like anyone's golfing this golf course today. Tunnel of trees. Yeah, over the turnpike, it's gonna be huge. So when you drive to Disney World, you'll see it. It's gonna have a big sign on it saying the villages. It smells so good. Laurel Man Manor Rec Center is here. This, this is Laurel Manor is where we have a cricket club. Pretty flowers. No, the tunnels aren't very long. There's one that's longer over by my mom's house. My mom takes the grocery cart, or the grocery cart, the golf cart <laughs> uh, to the grocery store. We can actually drive our golf carts everywhere we go, even to the hospital, doctor's offices, movie theaters, shopping, hundreds of restaurants. Should I go the long way? Mm, I'll go this way. This is a shortcut, but for some of you that haven't seen the villages, you can see some of the houses. These are just, some of them are like just average houses. 
in the villages. Yeah, it does, well, my actual car is electric, so I don't use gas. But if you have a gas car, like most people, the golf cart uses much less gas. go 24 miles an hour on these roads though if I go 25 which it can do if I'm going downhill I can get a ticket for uh, not having a licensed motor vehicle on a road so you just can't go 25 You don't even have to have a driver's license, though, to drive a golf cart. But you can get a DUI on a golf cart. Yes, I have two golf carts, one for four people. So when people come to visit, we can go places in golf carts. One of my eyes are burning, like I got something in my eye. My sister comes to visit because my mom lives here too so she stays at my mom's and uh, they borrow my four-person golf cart because my sister refuses to go anywhere in a car so we have to take multiple golf carts other side of the road that we were on before oh I'm glad you learned so much from the split letter golf cart. Did you see it? Went by really fast. This is the Ar Arnold Palmer Country Club and golf course. There's like, I don't know, maybe 30 golf or country clubs in the villages and you're a member of all of them there's like no fee or anything and they're not all fancy when carol was here carol prevo came uh 
my mom and dad want to go out to eat with her. So they asked me where I want to go, and I'm like, I don't go out to eat that much except when I'm alone. But my son is here, we do. But I don't go out that much alone. So I said, I don't know. I feel like I've been, I haven't been everywhere, but I feel like I've been to all of them. So my son is here, we go out every day. Uh, but so I told my mom, I said, what about one of the country clubs? Because I never go to the country clubs. And Carol's like, well, I didn't bring anything to dress up. I said, no, we're not dressing up. Uh, you can go in shirts and a t-shirt, or t I mean, t -sh shirt and shorts. You don't have to dress up to go to the country clubs here. And the food is just as good. Well, it's the like the same price as the other restaurants, but it's usually better food. You're supposed to be 55 or older to live here it's a 55 plus community but they do have to look at that these are big houses in this neighborhood you do have to uh, oh they have to legally have 10% of the community under 55 so it's not age discrimination and they let me move here because my parents also live here and you cannot have any children under the age of 19 that live with you. But your grandkids can come and visit. So they have some, I mean, there's like probably 90 swimming pools. They have swimming pools for families that kids are allowed and then most of them are not for family. Most of them are just adults only. And then they have sports pools where they do exercise and things like that. Now I could turn left that way and go to Lake Sumter Landing. And that way is the road. I can't go that way on my golf cart. But we're gonna go this way because it's so pretty. So we're gonna go to Lake Sumter up the back way. Isn't this beautiful? And there's a pool at every single little neighborhood. And then they also have like, they have different things at each one, like shuffleboard or bocce ball. And then they have rec centers too, where all the clubs are. There's over 3,000 clubs. One of them is the cricket club. But they have scrapbooking clubs and art clubs, painting, water painting, oil painting, clay. They have, they have so anything. They have coloring books and then they have tons of games. I love games. And they have a club for everybody named Eileen. Everybody in the club's name is Eileen. I don't know what they do or how they speak to each other. They can't call out, hey Eileen. There's the parrot head group. Those are for the people that uh, like, oh, what's that name? The Margaritaville guy. I mean, and then they have car clubs. They don't have a Tesla club. I would really like to join the Tesla club. I'd like, yeah, Jimmy Buffett. Yeah. Hi, Carol, I see you made it. I talked about you earlier when, look at that golf cart. When you messaged me, I said, oh, no, Carol can't find the video. I like looking at golf carts. There's a little walking trail over here. Now this is uh, Lake Sumter Landing Square. So there, if, you, if you're new to this, there are three squares in the villages. In the center of the squares, they have entertainment, like live bands, 
or there's one DJ that is extremely entertaining like he is so fun like he has props and he gets people dancing and so there's dancing every single night of the year and it's free and there's it's in three places every single night and this is shopping right here there's a movie theater in every single square tons of shopping tons of restaurants Look how the golf carts park. We par park those like forward in instead of side parking. So this is coming up on the square on the right. Can only go one way around the squares. There's no one there yet because the uh, party doesn't start. Oh, it looks like the band is starting. And they have all different kinds of bands. But it doesn't start till 5. Oh, it's 416. There's Starbucks. There's Panera ahead of me. Go ahead. Look at that golf cart up there. And then there's a lake up here too. They have boat rides. You can take, it's really expensive though, it's two dollars to ride the boat. Per person. <laughs> I have not done that yet. The one time I thought about doing this when I was down here with my assistant, I said, oh, we should go for the boat ride. She goes, do you really want to? There wasn't a cloud in the sky and it was like 95 degrees and humid. I'm like, oh, no, I don't. <laughs> oh, look, at Gators, they've got music and they're all dancing. There's all the outdoor restaurants. You can like sit outdoors at every restaurant. I love that place. They have the best ice cream. It's called Ambrosia. And it is so yummy. It's really light ice cream. There's the movie theater. There's much more down that way. But we're going to go over this way. It's Johnny Rockets. They have good food. Well, I actually doubt I'll ever be able to retire, too. I, I don't know how to do that. So we're going to go over a bridge. go to Spanish Spring Square. Spanish Spring Square is uh, more Spanish looking. There's also one called Brownwood that is more, oh, green light, uh, Western. It looks like the Old West. Look at the cute little turn lane for the golf carts only. Isn't that cute? Because we have to turn here. We can't go out on that road. This is where I go for the sunset videos. There's a spot up here that's beautiful. We can face the water and park here. You can only park with a golf cart, not with a real car. Now, when I go over this bridge, I do not read the chat. And I'll probably face you out at the water just so you have a nice view. But I have to watch because if another one comes, I have to get over. So I'm not reading chat. I'm just going to let you guys see the water. I don't even see what you guys see. Up here is the one of 
the sun, they call the Sunset Park where they have parking, but it's not the best one. The best one is up here across this part of the bridge. I gotta slow down. Okay. So up there where the clump of trees are. Is that Ian? I can't read what you said. I'll have to stop and scroll it up. I go, I like go up in there and park one of the trees. Right up in there. You'll be able to afford it, Ian. What you have to do is say this 10 times a day. I always have more than enough money and enough to share. You say it. It comes true. What you think and what you say really comes true. I'm telling you. This is a picnic area up here on the Sheila. We got another bridge coming, Lil Honk. Look how pretty that is. They got picnic tables. going to go to Spanish Springs. Looks like it might rain ahead. Oh no, there's a golf cart. Okay, we're back. I don't know if you guys heard it because we lost connection in that uh, tunnel, but I did honk for Sheila. Here's a little wooden bridge. Oh, last thing you heard was, oh no, a golf cart. I said, oh no, a golf cart, because I don't like to honk in a bridge when there's another golf cart in the bridge, because I don't want them to think I'm honking at them or, you know, need them or, you know. Okay, now this is a more dangerous road to drive the golf cart because there's a lot of traffic on this road right next to me. So I don't look at the chat so much. But you guys can chat with each other. And I glance at it once in a while when there's no cars around me. I'm always safe. I always pay attention. <laughs> and I'm sneezing. There's 91 people on this golf cart. Hold on tight. You must be double stacked on the roof. renting. I couldn't remember. I wanted to go on a golf cart ride last Sunday. I got my uh, my green, I call it my cricket golf cart, was behind Miss Daisy. So I had to move out that out of the way to get Miss Daisy. 
and then I go to get on Miss Daisy and her battery is completely dead. Completely dead. Absolutely no power. So I called my dad and he brought over a charger he has and she charged up. Otherwise we would have done this last week. The temperature today is 90 degrees. We're, all, we're, we're gonna turn right here. Turning into the village of Rio Grande. This is one of the older neighborhoods. share this lane with walkers and dog walkers. And it's a skinny lane. I could have went straight up Morris and went up there a little ways. But we're going to go back. You'll see more of that when we go back. Windshield and the wind picked up, but I don't think it's going to last long. Smells like rain. The Stacy's getting wet. degrees. Feels a little cooler though. I don't have any windshield wipers. Uh-oh. Is there a road closed? Oh no, it's rainy. wet so far but the seat next to me is I could put the sides down but I'm not gonna it started out a beautiful day when I started this drive okay so this is Spanish Springs oh no no I'm starting to get wet that's all right well the water won't hurt me Look at it pour. You guys up on the roof are going to get real wet. Oh no. There's the square. <laughs> I got to get in this way. So 
we're not going around the whole square. I'm not sure where I can go. I'm not completely covered. Like, I have a roof on me, but... Okay, look, there's blue sky up there. And I've done this before in the rain, where you stop, you have to get out of the golf cart to drop the sides. And then you get more wet when you do that. I think it's starting to go down a little. I see blue sky. No, Kobe is not with me. I cannot uh, bring Kobe in the golf cart while I do a video. Look at all this water. Because I put a harness on him and I hold on to his leash, I also have it tagged up against to the car. So even if he tried to jump out, he couldn't because he actually did try once. Uh, but I keep one hand on Kobe if I take him in the golf cart and I can't do that and do video. That would not be safe. Nobody would be driving the car. He's nervous when he gets in cars and golf carts and stuff, so. He's not a good car rider. Okay, I was gonna drive you around more. of the square, but it's almost done raining. This is Florida. It rains for 10 minutes. Yesterday I saw a rainbow and it wasn't even raining. Whoa. Kobe is a Maltese. Yeah, I was just thinking that the cars could be splashing me. But we're almost off the road. Look at that. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Look at the sky. See that? I think it quit raining. But we still might have the sprinkles on the windshield. Um, Kobe's sister has passed away. She had a huge mass in her stomach. guys out of the windshield. Just so you don't have to look at the rain. Because it quit. Oh, see, now he, he stopped to put up his, he's rolling up his sides on his golf cart. See. There's beautiful water. And over here on the other side of the street is the hospital. There's the hospital. We can take our golf cart there. There's a tunnel that takes us underneath this road. Here they have assisted living buildings. There's lots of them. Well, I'm not sure what this one is. This looks like offices. 
but they have a lot of assisted built assisted living I'm going to go in here and um, I'm going to clean off my windshield. I have a microfiber cloth up in here. It doesn't look really clean. Hold on. And for those of you who've never seen Miss Daisy, you'll get to see her. So look, I uh, ironed on my name up there. So here's Miss Daisy. I cut out the daisies with the cricket. I cut out her lips and tongue with the cricket and that little daisy there. That's her beauty mark. And she has purple eyelashes. I purchased those from carlashes.com. I put her name on the side and put some daisies. There's my license plate from Illinois. It has bling around it. Put her name on this other side. And Carol Prevo made me that bag, says Driving Miss Daisy, and it holds like my, it holds remote controls for her lights because she has lights that go around the top that are not on. Oh, and she has bling around the eyelashes. It's bling eyeliner. And this here is also lights. She actually has pink lights inside her mouth so when we're running, it looks like she's um, got lights in her mouth. Here, let me see if you can see the lights there. Oh, no. You can see a tiny bit. Not really. Okay. I'm going to... I've never actually been around this. Okay, I didn't do a great job on my windshield, but I did the best I could with what I had. Though it wasn't wet because I was sitting on it. My legs are just wet. My left leg is wet. This is an assisted living. I moved here in March, March 15, 2017. I bought my first house ever. Freedom Point. Well, the windshield's better than it was. And that's... <laughs> I asked Alexa today before I left, I said, Alexa, is it going to rain today? And she says, about 4.45, it's going to rain for 10 minutes. So it was a little early. It was only 4.30, and it did rain for only 10 minutes. Look at the sun shining back up again. Is that crazy? shocked that Alexa knew when what time I mean she's pretty close she's better than the weatherman 
what time it was going to rain and for how long. Like, I didn't even ask how long. She just said, for about 10 minutes. the road is wet like where it was shading it didn't even get wet here and sometimes it can rain in parts of the villages and not all parts of the villages sometimes it's raining at my house and not my mom's this is El Camino Drive of some homes but she can't see them right now every house here is built with a sprinkler system and uh, with a lanai and garage Yes, I'm holding my camera. I'm holding it on a gimbal. It's the only way to get a good, if I connect it to my golf cart, I've tried this many times in the beginning, it's just all shaky, shaky. And then sometimes it falls. So I hold it, well, sometimes I switch hands. I hold it mostly with my right hand. I use the Osmo Mobile 2 gimbal to hold your phone. <gasps> oh, I think that was a dead snake. Um, but they just came out with the Osmo Mobile 3, but it's, you can only pre-order it, I guess. watch for the temperature still 90 degrees Ooh, I think I saw a gecko when it rains all the little critters want to come out they gotta stay off the roads isn't this just beautiful look at that sky it's like where did it rain Yes, Jim, I got it off of Amazon. It's really worth it. It really sets up, makes your videos nice. So they're not shaky. Even when you're just walking around, like I bought this before I had a golf cart. And when I was taking video at any place, walking around or anything, it keeps it still. 
Okay, you guys, I used to think it was too hot for me too. It is too hot for me, let's be honest. I don't like it in the 90s, although right now it's not bad because the humidity is low, even though it rained. It does not feel that hot, but it is really, really hot and really, really humid in the summer. So when you think about it, when I lived back in Illinois near Chicago, it was really cold. You did not go outside unless you absolutely had to. You did not um, spend time outside for enjoyment unless you were like, um, like a, what do I wanna say? The abominable snowman or something. Um, so what you do here when it's hot, like it is here in the summer, you stay in the air conditioning. You only go out when you have to. And it's not always too bad on the golf cart because it's breezy. So it's if it depends on if you want to exchange winter, freezing winter for the hot summer. I I'm a person that'd rather be colder than hotter, but I'd rather stay inside in the air conditioning than have the winter snow, ice, you know, wind chills, really, really, really cold, below zero and everything. And accidents in the snow and that type of thing. Well, there are hurricanes, but in the villages is where people go to when there is a hurricane. They flee the coastlines and come here because we don't get much damage at all. Like I, uh, this past hurricane was absolutely nothing. I didn't even take in anything from outside, anything. Like it barely blew. Um, we're gonna go through the tunnel of trees, I think. Is this where we go? Maybe not. I don't know where we're going. I don't remember. No, this isn't the tunnel. Okay, we're back. We're on this tiny little road. We're not going through the tunnel of trees. We've already, we're already north of that, I forgot. But the hurricanes don't do much damage here. We didn't even use electricity. I would not want to live on the coastlines where the hurricanes would damage. pretty water there. Now that neighborhood over there to the left, all those homes are millions of dollars. Over here, they're not quite that big. These are nice little villas and they have a fenced in backyard. Look at that. Really pretty. So these are their backyards. And over there are huge backyards. Like huge. Their square footage of their their property is probably 12 times bigger than these houses to the left and there's the only way to get there by golf cart I do have videos going through that neighborhood looking at those big houses there's a love bug on my window okay we might lose it here oh we're good Now we're going back home. This is Bel Air subdivision or village, I guess. I say Bel Air subdivision because I grew up in Bel Air subdivision back in Bourbon, Illinois. It was not a fancy neighborhood. It had a fancy name. That's it. Oh, it's pouring. 
pouring rain in St. Pete. Teresa because I really do do this for you guys especially when I'm not going anywhere in particular because this was my third try my third and last try to do this video because the first two it would not connect or wouldn't stay on the internet um, so I like stopped until I could get it working because I was just gonna turn around and go back home And I know how you guys love going for rides, so that's why I do it. And because you ask me. If you don't ask me for a ride, I probably won't do it. But I know a lot of you have been asking lately, so. And it's good for me, too. It's not like this is a chore. I enjoy it, and I enjoy talking to you guys. But it's kind of boring just driving by myself without talking to you. I think that's what I mean. Like... I don't just do it for you guys because I do enjoy it. It's fun. It's not as fun without you guys. I think that's what I'm saying. So when my son is here, we also do video like this, but we'll just go for a ride sometimes. Christmas for like a month or two and then he comes back in the spring when my sister comes to visit my sister and her family come and then my brother and his family comes another time usually about a month apart so my son stays to see both of them my brother lives in New York and my sister's in Indiana So my mom is down here so I'm down here and my brother and my sister both want to be down here we're only going 21 miles an hour right now okay this is Chatham look at the pretty flowers Oh, you know what? I'm going to go this way, too. Because there's little villas here. I've gone this way before. But they're cute. These are little small houses. They have houses of every size and uh, everything you need. So, yeah, million-dollar houses are huge. And then they have these cute houses. These are nice houses. They're like two-bedroom, two-bathroom. I think there's uh, 
There's a few one bedroom houses, but most of the houses are two bedroom and two bathroom. They're just cute. Little picket fence. But these are more affordable. And oh, notice the garbage. Uh, I gotta take out my garbage tonight. There's no garbage cans, which sounds weird, but it's amazing, seriously, because we have garbage pickup twice a week, which makes it awesome, because you can, uh, you put your garbage out just in the bags, and there's no cans to pick up. And then they come twice a week, so you don't have a lot of garbage in your house. You know, and most, you don't live here with a huge family either. It's usually two people per house, so you don't have a ton of garbage, like, to sit in your garage. Like, usually, my garbage, um, I, I have it in my kitchen, you know, and I usually can just take it out of my kitchen garbage and take it straight outside. Once in a while, I do have extra garbage, and I have to put it in the garage until it's time. But then you just drag that out the night before garbage day, just tonight. Then I do it on Wednesday night. And I just take it um, out to the road. I don't have to worry about bringing the cans back in. And not just being lazy, not bringing the cans in like me. Uh, it's pretty. You're not um, worried about like your neighbors and driving by and seeing all the garbage cans. Like in my neighborhood growing up, the garbage cans were there, like at least until the kids got out of school. You know, so the kids would bring in the garbage cans. But, so it's just nice and it always looks pretty. Except for, you know, when the bags are out, but. I haven't had any animals open the bag. Some people say you have to be careful of that. I use scented bags and I close them up really well. Chatham village right next to mine and we're gonna turn here and it's gonna take us into my village there are some alligators but I don't think they hurt anybody see it says Kelly McGrove and you can do some fishing over here they actually stop there's a rule that you have to throw the fish back, but uh, maybe alligators eat them too. So this road is actually closed, but it's not in our way here. Here's our pool. Where that lattice fence is. There's a, a parking lot on the other side. I am so glad you guys enjoyed it. It was even fun with the rain we had. My pants are still a little wet. <clears throat> and for those of you that just joined, my pants are wet because it poured down rain on the golf cart. Not for any other reason. 
Yay! I'm so glad you guys enjoyed it. This is my street. I live at the end of the street. Can you guess which house is mine? When you look at the color <coughs> of the shutters and the furniture, you'll know which one's mine. So glad you guys had fun. And the flamingos. <laughs> There's my house. Okay, guys. Rolling backwards. Thank you for joining. It was a lot of fun. There's my other golf cart. Uh oh. <laughs> for a second, she would go. There's my recycling. I gotta take recycling out tonight, too. All right. Love you guys. There's my pretty car. Look at how pretty. And you can hear Kobe. Bye, guys. Love you. Bye. Cece, I don't know if you need approval to paint your doors and shutters. I didn't ask.